Hi everybody, welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Last time we have uh, infiltrated the world that never was, the Nobody's True Fortress Hideout, and the main stronghold of Organization 13. We also saw that Mickey met up with Ansem the Wise, the real one, and we defeated Zigbar, one of the many members of Organization 13. And then we just kind of left. So now, we're back, and we're gonna go further into the fortress and see a lot more cutscenes. Ooh, not Skyway. Oh boy, we got dancers and a samurai. It's over. There we go. And some treasure chests. Ooh, mithril gem. That's very nice. Back off. Man, explosion is such a good move. Mithril crystal. Aura calcum. Nice. Oh, hi! Berserker. There we go. Reef Refliga is really good against Berserkers. Alright, we're gonna latch him onto our Berserk Staff and then use the Reaction Command Eclipse and Magna Storm. Boom! Dead. Rejoice and feast on these hearts we offer. Shine your pale light on this empty realm. Share your power with all nobodies. Xemnas, is Kingdom Hearts ready? Very soon. Then I can end this charade? Indeed. How I've waited to hear that. Oh, hey. Tell me you are great. Oh, yeah, she was fighting. <laughs> you are different, Kyrie, but I'm just glad you're here. You and Riku never came home, so I came looking for you. I'm sorry. Aww. This is real. Wait, Ansem! I mean, Xehanort's heartless. I never thought for a second that I'd ever see you again. Just thinking about all the things you did makes me really mad. But... But you saved Kyrie, right? I have to be grateful for that. Thanks. Submit? Riku, don't go! Oh? Kyrie, what did you just say? Riku. I'm no one, just a castaway from the darkness. Sora, come here. Say something to him. <laughs> Look how tall Ansem is compared to, like, everybody else. Here. You'll understand. Close your eyes.
Riku. It's Riku. Riku's here. I looked for you. Come on, Sora. You've got to pull it together. I looked everywhere for you. I didn't want you to find me. But it was him that was helping us, wasn't it? Huh? Those clothes we kept finding, that must have been Riku. I was starting to worry you guys weren't ever going to catch on. Sora never did pick the brightest friends. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Self-deprecation. Why didn't you let me know you were okay? I told you. I didn't want to be found. Not like this. I couldn't. I fought with Ansem, with Xanort's Heartless. When it invaded my heart and I won. But to use the power of darkness, I had to become Ansem myself. Does that mean you can't change back? This battle isn't over. And until it is, I still need the power of darkness. Then, let's finish it. You're still Riku, no matter what. So how about it? Think we can handle one last rumble together? The king's waiting. Yeah, let's get going. And we finally get the Oblivion Keyblade. Has great strength and allows the drive gauge to restore quickly during MP recharge. Honestly, kind of like Kino Hearts 1, Oblivion's not that great. It's less powerful than Decisive Pumpkin. Like, it still has 6 strength, but it doesn't have the combo boost ability. And the ability that it does have, Drive Boost, uh, it's useful for recharging the drive gauge if you're low, but there are a lot of other good ways to do that. Also, this was a keyboard that got changed in Final Mix. In the original release, it gave the ability MP Hastera, which basically increased the speed the MP meter refilled during MP recharge by 50%. So they actually changed that because it wasn't that great even in the original. At least it serves a unique purpose here. And we get a map of the castle that never was. So yeah, I think it's kind of weird that like Kyrie, who's like the girl that Sora likes and is crushing on, like he, he reluctantly gives a hug to and then he cries when he finds Riku. It seems a little, a little bit, uh, it should have been the other way around. I don't really know. And yeah, so Riku as Ansem is the one who was in the Roxas tutorial. And he's just kind of been the one who has been just hanging around all throughout the game. Like, we fought him in Land of Dragons, he gave us the ice cream and the photo of Roxas, all that. Hey, Kyrie, you held on to that charm. That talisman of reunion really worked. I wanted to see you so badly, Sora. I missed you so much. <laughs> I missed you too, baby. <laughs> in the past, I was overcome by the dark and betrayed you. Look what's become of me. I wasn't sure I wanted to see you, but Kyrie insisted. But at least he has his voice back now, he no longer sounds like Ansem. So yeah, Oblivion gives 6 strength and 2 magic, so it does have 1 extra magic over Decisive Pumpkin, but Decisive Pumpkin's still a better Keyblade. Having said that, I'm going to put that as my Valor Form Keyblade, because that's pretty cool. So Riku was the one who's been helping us all along! You two must be best pals for him to change his look to help you. I don't know, Ansem looks pretty badass. <laughs> It's amazing, Kyrie, and you recognized Riku. He looks just like Ansem. I couldn't believe my eyes when I first saw him. Ugh, everyone hates that Donald Duck voice I do, but I have to do it. <laughs> this spot to do. What's this gadget for? It's a device to reclaim Kingdom Hearts and encode it as data. Not sure I get it. I do not claim to know the outcome of this venture either. After all, hearts are unpredictable. I don't know how that would work, but okay. We're in the proof of existence now. This seems interesting. Some members of Organization 13 see fighting as a game. 
No matter what the rules are, you'll always have a chance to win. Don't miss that chance. I don't like the feel of this place. It's almost like a graveyard. Just about everything is in ruins. Do you know what this all means, Sora? This actually is the Nobody Graveyard. There's one, like, grave spot for every member of Organization 14. And most of them are busted, except for their only three remaining members. Uh, Luke Sword, who is the guy we saw in Port Royal. Syx, who is the guy who, with the blue hair, who's been antagonizing us. And then Zemnis, who's the leader. And also, I think Roxas's might still be kind of intact, because he didn't technically die, but rather rejoined his Sora. The Savage Nymph. The Key of Destiny, The Graceful Assassin, The Gambler of Fate, The, Mel the Melodious Nocturne, The Flurry of Dancing Flames, The Cloaked Schemer, The, the Cloaked Schemer, and The Luna Diviner, The Silent Hero, The Chilly Academic, The Whirlwind Lancer, The Free Shooter, and then, oh, I guess. Xemnas doesn't have one, because he's a- I can never die! It is magically locked. Alright. There's only one place we can go, we can enter through this gravestone here. What's that? It's the king and Diz. I mean, Ansem the Wise. They must be higher up. We better hurry. This music again. You. I'd rather we just skip the formalities. So now we get to fight Luke Sword. A battle for time. Win the battle for time. This is a time-based battle. Finish off the enemy when their time gauge runs out. If Sora runs out of HP or time, it's game over. So Luke Sword is a very uh, gimmicky fight. He does not have a health bar, but rather he has this time gauge. There are two ways to deplete the time gauge. You can attack in order to slowly deplete it, and he'll also give you like basically mini games to play throughout the fight, and if you win them, then his time gauge depletes by a good amount, but if you lose them, your time gauge depletes by a good amount. The first to run out of time is the loser. So he'll always start the fight by turning us into a dice. What we can do is uh, move around and press the circle to jump around. If we can jump into it, we can uh, knock down his time gauge a bit. So Luke Sword's element is time, and his weapon are cards, which doesn't sound that good, but like I said, he's like a gimmicky boss. That's where he gives you. Alright, when he says a challenge is it, so this is a game we need to press the circle when it appears. Boom. So our command gauge kind of was doing a roulette. Alright, so now he's hidden himself among the cards. One of them has a time on the back. If we do that, we get more time, and if we reveal him, we can then attack him. Don't hit the red ones, though, because those will make you lose time. So a lot of people find Luke Sword very difficult just because of how different his fight is. Understandable. The ones that are blank don't do anything to reveal them. Alright. So yeah, you can see our command gauge is uh, now like a roulette with the X's. If we click the X's, then we will lose time. Actually, I think we'll also turn into a dice, but if we hit the circle, then we will knock down this time gauge. And it slows down uh, after the longer it's around, but don't wait too long, otherwise you will just lose by default. Do you know the rules? You. So now he'll probably do his desperation move. Because now that he's in the game, he's like, yep. This is where glide can help, because we can kind of just glide up here to avoid most of his attacks. And now comes the final part, with the hardest of the game. So now what happens is we need to hit the circle on every single one of the part of our command menu. You know the rules? Whoop, we failed. So now we turn into a dice. Don't 
We can actually kill him by just love tapping him as defense, which is kind of funny. But it's hard to do. Take that. And we get the final magnet element now, so now we can do Magnaga. He's a fun fight. Also one of the more interesting members of the organization. Despite his limited screen time. How could you, Roxas? That Sora! Good, we got our friends back. You okay? Yeah, no worries. Let's keep moving. Thanks for helping, guys. Oh, and we get Secret Ansem Report number nine. Luke Sword had it. What a jerk. Roxas. I know that name. Once I spoke with him. He reminded me of you, Sora. Who is he? I don't know! <laughs> hmm. Not bad, Sora. You've grown stronger. You don't need my weapon, Soul Eater, or the power of the dark yet. The Keyblade's better than the Soul Eater. I wonder how far the king went. I know he's strong enough to take care of himself, but I'm still worried. Ah, oh, fairy! I was already raring to go, but I didn't get the chance to fight. We really can't tell what's going to happen. Keep your guard up. Whack! All right, all right, Donald. <laughs> take it easy. Oh, hey, now another one has popped up. And this leads to one of my favorite fights in the, uh, the organization for our team members. It's Syx. Only you could have made it this far in one piece. Roxas. That's really getting old. Yeah, he's sorry. Different name, same fate. And Riku and Kairi get knocked out of the fight, but at least Donald and Goofy are with us. Do you feel it? The moon's power. Moon, shine down. So this is Saix. So remember how I said every organization for a team member has a nobody counterpart? His counterpart are the Berserkers. So this is Saix. He is a Berserker. His element is the moon, and his weapon are these claymores. And yeah, his gimmick is basically, you see that Berserk gauge at the top? When that is filled, he will go Berserk and will just ham away and go crazy with his attacks. As you can see. However, when he slams one of his Claymores into the ground, we can then use the Eclipse Reaction Command to, well, Eclipse his Moon Powers. Just like this. Just like we did against the Berserkers. And that will knock his Berserk gauge down to the minimum, and now we can actually attack him. I'm also going to summon Peter Pan. Peter Pan helps out in this fight. Alright, now he's going to enter his dessert state again. Unless Peter Pan's stunned. Nope. There he goes. We can dodge roll out of the way of most of his stuff. Be careful though, because you can still take damage while you're using his claymores against him. So despite that... Despite him being an intimidating guy, he's actually a very easy fight. He's definitely one of the easiest members of the organization. Mainly because... Even in his Berserker state, he's not, like, super powerful. He just doesn't suck like he does when he's not going Berserk. 
but it's still super satisfying to beat the crap out of him after all of the crap he's put us through throughout the game. <laughs> Peter Pan. Peter Pan is really good in that fight because he basically stun locks Saix in place and doesn't let him do anything. <laughs> Why? Kingdom Hearts. Where is my heart? Roxas music. I don't get it. Why has everybody been calling me Roxas? Because, Sora, Roxas is your nobody. My... nobody? But that's crazy. I never turned into a heart... Oh, right. It was when you came to rescue me, remember? Xemnas was the one who found Roxas. He could use the Keyblade because he was your nobody. That's why Xemnas brought him into the organization. But Roxas betrayed them. After that, I fought him because I thought it would help you wake up. I lost. But the next time we met, I made sure I was the stronger one. Doesn't explain how Riku can use the key. Or I guess he could in Kingdom Hearts 1, but only when he stole it from Sora. Doesn't explain how Kairi can use one though. Why don't you quit? Come on, Sora. I thought you were stronger than that. Huh? Get real. Look which one of us is winning. Uh. So it's true. You really are his nobody. Guess Diz was right after all. What are you talking about? I am me. Nobody else. <laughs> How many times do I have to beat you? All right. You've left me with no other choice. What? I have to release the power in my heart. The dark power that I've been holding back. Even if it changes me forever. gets the Guardian too? Really? I have accepted it. Still doesn't really make sense why he looks like Anson after that, though. It's just kind of a plot device more than anything. Diz, he could feel Sora. Who oh, he told you how he felt, did he? Ridiculous. And nobody cannot feel anything. If he had met Sora, Things might have been different. Maybe I didn't need to fight him after all. I think he left the organization because he really wanted to meet you. Roxas. 
I wish I could meet him too. All right, let's go. And Sykes said secret answer report number 12. Man, Sykes is such an easy fight, though. It's almost disappointing. I wonder what this castle was built for. It's pretty mysterious. Grah! I'm exhausted! You did nothing in that entire fight, Donald. Let's rest before we go! So all of you were out adventuring while I was living a normal life? Why do I always get left out? You're going to have to tell me about it later. No, oh, sorry, Kyrie. I met Roxas because of a guy named Diz. I didn't trust Diz at first, but we both needed each other's help. Oh, uh, is that so? But one thing that just doesn't make sense to me is that Roxas was created when Sora turned into a Heartless in Kingdom Hearts 1. But a nobody is just, like, your old body left over after your heart left it. But then Sora got his body back again in Hollow Bastion, but then Roxas was still also his own entity. It, it doesn't make sense. The only conclusion I can come to is that the Sora we had after, like, Kyrie brought him back to his original form all the way until Roxas rejoined him was actually a heartless Sora, but who retained his, like, memories and heart and all of that just like Ansem did from Xehanort. Alrighty. Let's go further up. Answer? <laughs> I'm a fool. I spent years studying the workings of the heart. Yet it seems I still haven't learned a thing. What do you mean? The process of encoding hearts is incalculable. The inhabitants of my twilight town were data created from real hearts. I was convinced that they would think and behave the way I had envisioned. But I couldn't have been more wrong. A heart is so much more than any system. I saw it when Roxas and Kairi crossed paths. I knew, but I was too stubborn to accept it. It's always the same. I try to wrap my mind around things my heart already knows, only to fail. While I was trying to bring Sora back, I had so many plans in store. But once Sora was an acting force, they fell apart. All my research amounted to nothing compared with that one boy's heart. Ansem, a machine! All the more proof that hearts cannot be contained by data. Run, my friend! It's going to self-destruct, and anything could happen. But, your majesty! Sora, the rest is up to you. And Roxas, I doubt you can hear me, but I am sorry. Ansem! My heart is telling me what I must do. Please allow me to do what it says. No! Riku! His heart's decided. We can't change that. I was wondering. Who would dare interfere with my kingdom hearts? And look, here you all are. How convenient for me. Anson the Wise. You look pathetic. Have your love. I deserve as much for failing to see you for the fool you are. Students do take after their teachers. Only a fool would be your apprentice. After all, none of this would have happened without you. You are the source of all, Heartless. It was your research that inspired me to go further than you ever dared. I admit, my disregard brought chaos to more worlds than one. 
But what were you seeking? You erased me from the world, only to take my name and continue research better left forgotten. Is this the answer you've been looking for? All that and more. I'm carrying on what you yourself began, and I'm creating a brand new world, one heart at a time. I thought you'd praise me, but all you ever do is hold me back. I understand, though. Unlike me, you have a heart, and you're powerless to control it, consumed by the jealousy you feel toward the student who surpassed you. They are not foolish apprentice of a foolish man. You have surpassed nothing, only proved how little we both know. We may profess to know the heart, but its essence is beyond our reach. We're both ignorant, as oblivious as when we began. I'm afraid that any world you try to create, any world of yours, would be an empire of ignorance. That is why you and your creation are destined to fall. We've said enough. Rico, you know what to do. King Mickey, my friend, forgive me. Farewell. I do love that speech that Ansem gives. It's very nice. Oh. That's, uh, normal. <laughs> the Dusks are, like, eating the hearts. Oh, look! More Heartless. And he's back to normal for literally no reason. Other than plot convenience. Wow! wow. Riku! Uh. Uh. Ansem did say anything could happen. How convenient for the plot. Riku, you gonna take that off? Oh. What was that? His eyes couldn't lie. Lie? And just who were you trying to fool? Huh? Huh? Myself. Riku, come on, man. Why did you try to do so much on your own? You've got friends, like us. Yeah, but three of you were in a coma. <laughs> Kairi Ridley couldn't do anything, and I did help have Kimeki to help me. Have you forgotten? I'll tell you why. Because I'm not a total sap like you. Say that again. Wow. <laughs> Are we enough to fight another thousand heartless? What should we do, Riku? 
We must defeat Xemnas. He's the organization's last survivor. Right. Wait, you were just wearing on. that under your cloak? Okay. Where did you get the outfit? Have you been wearing that for the last year? And now, guys... Oh, well, we get Secret Ansem Report number 11 from Ansem the Wise himself. And we get Riku as a party member, and Riku is a pretty boss party member, let me tell you what. This is awesome. All right, he has Dark Aura, stops enemy movements with dark magic spells as commanded when Sora's combo is about to end, costs 10 MP. It's nowhere near as good as Dark Aura from Chain of Memories or from Kingdom Hearts 1. Dark Shield blocks enemy attacks with the Shield of Darkness as commanded, costs 10 MP. Cure Potion restores the party's HP, costs 99 MP. Yeah, you can use that freely. Eternal Session, a limit command that unleashes Riku and Sora's joint attack session, consumes all of Sora's MP. This is definitely the most visually impressive limit in the game, and definitely one of the best as well. Item Boost, MP Hastiga, Defender, second chance once more. Uh, he doesn't need auto limit. Hyper Healing, that could be good, except... Uh... Whatever. Uh, Riku, he's got the Way to the Dawn, deals various attacks. Ooh, that's a sucky stat Keyblade. Also, that that's actually a Keyblade. That is Riku's own Keyblade. Riku has a Keyblade now. That's his own. Uh, don't question it. Because even though the first game was very adamant that there was only one Keyblade Master, they lied. <laughs> Alright, I'm stealing all your stuff, Riku. <laughs> Good to have you back, man. <laughs> Now, we could go up and start the final boss, but we're going to save that for next time. Next episode, well, next recording session, I'll say I will finish the game. This game has one of the longest final bosses in video game history, as far as I'm concerned. Like, you thought Kingdom Hearts 1's final boss was long? Oh no, it's way longer in this one. It's like 10 forms. It's insane. But it's also a really, really good final boss. So look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. Next time we finish everything.